Karibu Sana from Iringa, Tanzania. Now I'm in the highlands. This is one of the coldest region here in Tanzania. Uh, so tour today, could you tell us about what we're seeing here right now? Yes. This is, is the tower. It's a tower uh, showing us uh, when we're getting uh, independent. Independent. All right. So, um, what? Who would they have hanged here? Who would have been hanged here? The people. The people mentioned here. Yeah, okay. These yeah. are the names. Yeah. So. Komoni. Komoni. Yeah, nakunywa komoni. Komoni, yeah. yeah nakunywa yeah. komoni. All right, so now we're in a local pub and we're drinking komoni. And it's made from maize. Yeah. Okay. Tasting it, guys. Yeah, man. <laughs> Real raw, you know? Yeah. And this is the color, just show them where it is. It's white color, you know? Yeah, man. Yeah, <laughs> at the local pub. Yeah. So when you come to Iringa, definitely try Kamoni. Come on. Eh? Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Yeah. Say come on. Yeah, come on. When you come here, you definitely yeah. try. Come 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 say come on. Come on. Yes. Oh. Alright, no, it's on. It's on. It's on, yeah. So this is as they say, come on. Come on. Yeah. Alright. Okay, from yeah. Chifun Kwa. Yeah. Not in Chifun Kwa. Come on. Come on. Even if you come like in the place like this, yeah. you say, I need the call more. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Oh. 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 Okay. So that's it, guys. So, uh, what, what part of the market is this where we are right now? Machina Tattoo. Machina Tattoo. Machina Tattoo. Okay. Yeah. It's a, it's a fruit market. Food market. Yeah, fruit market. Okay. Yeah, you get it. If you need fruit, you, you, you come here, yeah. you get it. Okay. Yeah, man. If you want to enter, it's not, it's not uh, it is. You can. Yeah, okay. Yeah, we can go there and you will see. Oh, we could just walk in. Yeah. So you could get a lot of fruits here as well. This section but of. Not only only this fruit. Yeah. But inside, yeah. you will see a lot of fruits there. Okay. Yeah, man. All right. So like he's saying, you can go inside as well and see different fruits and different things here as well. And you can see it's a busy day. People are out shopping, you know? Yeah. So here, entrance. Oh, that's the entrance fee, yeah. If you need to go there, you Okay. Yeah. One of the things I noticed, there are a lot of um, inside, indoor sections of the markets here. A very common feature I'm seeing in um, Iringa. Rubber shooting the tongue, open shoes, 
Machine attack. Machine attack. Is that a slang? Yeah. Why we say machine attack? Yeah. We say machine attack because before, before, uh, before was uh, was uh, three machines over there. Okay. Yeah, man. That's why they that's say why machine they say that. attack. Yeah. Machine attack. Yeah. All right. Three machines for the rice. For the rice, yeah. yeah. So basically, um. I said Ish Ishidin in a tattoo, but he corrected me, he said it's machine a tattoo. And the reason why, before they used to have three machines there with the rice, and that's why they say machine a tattoo, three machines in English. So this is the local vibe here. And this is the uh, bus stand. Yeah, here is the old stand. Old stand. After new stand shifting there. Yeah. Before, before the new stand yeah. was here. Okay. Yeah. So this is the bus stand here in um, Iringa. And what I'm seeing, you can get the Dala Dala buses here. Yes. Okay. So over there, you'll get the local buses to different parts of the city. You can walk over here. Yeah. All the bus station before, All bus right now it's Dala Dala stand. Dala Dala stand. So basically one of the things you notice when you come to Iringa, the new bus stand is a bit like around 10 kilometers away from the town. But long ago this is where it used to be. And now it's just designated to the Dala Dala buses. These are the local buses here in Iringa, you know, going to, where do they go, to different villages and areas? Yeah, different places out of, out on town. Okay. Yes. Right. Like, uh, like, uh, Mkwawa. Mkwawa, or, yeah. Or, or Kalenga. Kalenga. Yes. Yeah. yeah. So, if we want to get the Dala Dala from Kalenga, you will come here. Okay. Yeah. And the ticket to the bus station you told me yes. before if you need the yes. ticket yes. other tickets you will get it. that is the office all the offices yeah, are office. here yeah. I guess if you will not get here you will get to the main stand the there. main stand yeah, yeah. The, and that's the new stand new yeah. stand yeah. Right. so if you if you come to Iringa and you're going to places like Embea and other cities you can come here and buy the bus ticket if not you can also get a ticket in the new bus station here in Iringa you know, so this is the vibe here, guys. Here is a common wealth war graves. Yes, it's a German graves okay. for the another name. Okay. Yeah, the German uh, uh, during the, the 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 war during the fighting between Hehe and German, so other German uh, keep here. Yes. Yeah. So that's where the, the soldiers were buried here. Yeah. Here. Okay. Yes. So uh, some some other Germans coming here to see it to see uh, it. because uh, it's a memory to them. To them. Yeah. Uh, also, it's a memory to us. Okay. Yes. All right. Yeah, man. So yeah, during the um, you know, there were different wars that was fought in this region, and as my guide was saying, um, the Hehe is one of the dominant tribe in this region. They fought against the Germans as well, and um, some of the Germans who had lost their lives, this is where they're buried, the soldiers. So this is the German uh, gravesite here. And also uh, manage it with the government. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And that's the sign for it when you come here. 
is known as the Common well Commonwealth War Grave Iringa War Cemetery. So this is uh, where the soldiers are buried. <laughs> Okay, right now we're in Gangilonga and I've been told that this is where you will find the rich people living here in Iringa. It's quite an affluent area and this is what it's like here. So this is where the rich live in Iringa. Gangilunga. Gangilonga. Gangilonga. Yes. Gangilonga. And do they say Gangilonga is because of uh, the stone over there. Okay. Uh, the place we, we're going now. Okay. Yes. Gangilonga is a hehe word. Hehe word. Yeah, Gangilonga. It means in English uh, stone speaking. Stone speaking. Yes. Okay. <laughs> why, why do they say the stones are speaking? Because before, mm -hmm. when they need communication between uh, hehe. Yeah. Yeah, uh, when fighting with the German. Yeah. Uh, other one is staying there, other one is staying there, the place I show you will or less. Yes. Yes. And when it's peak, the sound travel. Oh, yeah, from the stones. Yeah, okay. the sound travel, that's why they say, they say that uh, Gangilonga is mm. peaking. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah man. <laughs> so, a long time ago, you know, between the, the Hehe tribe, which is dominant tribe in this region here, they will communicate with each other with the stones, you know. So the sounds will travel from one end to another. So they have that um, um, saying which came, Gangulonga, the stones are speaking, you know. So very interesting. And of course, they have a more um, spiritual side to it as well. But from what we know, this is how the name came about with the stones speaking. So, you know, you said a lot of rich people live here. Yeah. Is it uh, rich Tanzanians or Wageni? Uh, it's not rich in Tanzania. Okay. Yeah, the rich people in Iringa. Oh, I yeah, yeah, Iringa. Iringa. Got you, got yeah, you. Man. Okay. Yeah. 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 But they are Tanzanians. But they are Tanzanians. Yeah. It's different. See, okay. Yes, different. Other one is Tanzanians, other one not Tanzanians. Okay, yeah. all right. So yeah, this is it guys. Uh, this one's a gentle hill. Hotel. Yeah, this is a hotel here, Gentle Hill Hotel. Chilling in there because it's chilling just steamy. Okay. Okay. So it's around sixty thousand yeah. uh, a night here at this hotel. It's called the Gentle Hill Hotel. It's really nice and it's close to of course to the the um, tourist attraction we're going now, the rock site. And what I like about it, they got the, a lot of trees here, so when it does get hot during the day, you have shade as well. And it gets cold at night, so you, you get both um, seasons here in uh, both weather conditions, I should say, hot, cold here in Iringa. In comparison to coastal cities where it's always hot, yeah, you, you, you get winter vibe here as well. Look how beautiful this place is guys, absolutely amazing man. And this is on the way to, name of the rock? Gangilonga. Gangilonga. Yes. Gangilonga. So when you're coming and visit Iringa, Tanzania, definitely you have to visit Gangilonga rock and you'll get to see amazing view of the city here in Iringa. And this is how it is on the way. Really maintained, clean streets, beautiful trees, absolutely stunning. That's someone's house.
Kiringa nzuri. Nzuri. <laughs> Mazingira ya kupendeza <laughs> sana. Hapa <laughs> sunset hiyo. Eh. Mandro ile ka. Oh. Mazingira ya kupendeza. Mm, sana. The highway to Mbeya. This that, is Yeah, Tazama so highway. It's there. It's there, yeah. yeah. So Mbeya is that side. It's that side. Okay. Yeah. Right now. Gangilonga. 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 I'm on yes. top of Gangilonga. Hey, I'm telling you, this place is beautiful. You know, in Kiswahili they say, Mapenzi kizungu zungu. <laughs> and it's like, I'm in love with this place, man. I have to sit down. Yeah. Mapenzi kizungu zungu. Brother. So this is Bangilunga and this of course we had a tour the guy was saying this is where the chief chief um, of the Hehe -he people he was here this is where he was this was his headquarters man and here you he, he'll be here with his soldiers and he can see everywhere of this town here of Iringa he can see anything so any intruders any attackers that's coming for him he was able to defend himself and this um, town here region Iringa for a long time and in fact Iringa was known as his, almost like its own country and the chief Mkahawa was like the president of this area here of the Wahehe people so very interesting history here in Iringa so when you come here certainly visit Yeah man. Anything to say? Hi man. Yeah. <laughs> nice to meet you here yeah, man. Yeah. It's our guide there. It's our guide yeah, there man. Sasalimia too. Hi. So yeah, that's our guide Welcome man. Welcome Miringa Gangilonga. Gangilonga. Yeah. yeah, that's right. Gangilonga. Yeah. Gangilonga means gang means stone. And longer means speaking or talking. Yeah, so they're using here the the he -he tribe, the dominant of Iringa, he -he tribe, mm -hmm. using this one for communication. Uh, 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 coming here and praying here to show, to show the to show them mm -hmm. where is the enemy. Okay. Yeah. So and to to this stone, telling them that what do you have to do in this period during the during the fighting with the German people. Okay, okay. Yes, man. Right, so this yeah. is a very important yeah, it's site very here. Yeah, very important site area for Indian. them yeah. before, yeah. And what was the name of the chief who, who used this site a lot? Uh, chief Mkwawa. Mkwawa. Yeah, okay. Mkwawa, Mkwawa, he was a chief. Yes, he was a chief okay. in Iringa okay. uh, for the Hehe tribe. Right. Yes. And man. like from what the our guide was saying, he said like Iringa was almost like its own country. Yeah, man. And he was known as like the president. Yeah, man. Okay. Yeah, man. All yeah. right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, and and they think they thought that they calling like a like a president because he's the chief to them. Yeah. Yes, man. As you know that uh, every tribe was if they have chief, they they calling him as a, as a president that's why even us yeah. here in iringa yeah. we called him as a president as a president yeah okay yeah guys so this is it iringa